Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to go ahead and set up our bootstrap.php file and essentially this file is going to um, we're going to do some auto loading of our classes and if you haven't worked with object oriented programming yet um, you might want to look into that a little bit but we'll kind of guide you through it so um, you'll pick up on it. Object oriented programming from my perspective was hard to learn because I had kind of a stigma about it I learned procedural programming and basic programming in PHP, and then I thought object-oriented programming was hard. The reality is that it's not hard. It, it, you just need to work with it. And I think taking the time to stop and explain everything about object-oriented programming will just bore you to death and not show you any practical examples. But essentially, um, what we're going to do in our core directory is create a bunch of classes. A class is good, is um, a blueprint to build an object from and when you build an object in PHP uh, it, the reason that you'd want to do this is for just code reusability I could um, grab those classes and use them anywhere so we're going to be using OOP or object oriented programming in this application but um, we, we're going to go ahead and want to uh, load in everything ahead of time uh, that we're going to need and so we can do a bunch of require wants and, and we'd have to maintain a huge list. Um, but PHP gives us some pretty cool things that we can do and auto load those uh, classes in for us and it loads it as we need them. Um, so let's go ahead and just get rid of our um, placeholder text here in our bootstrap file and open up our PHP tags. Um, the next thing I want to do is just going to go ahead and we're going to load um, we're going to load our configuration and helper functions first, okay? And the reason that we're going to do that is because uh, we might want to use some of those inside of our classes, which is, you know, strictly speaking, you don't really want to do that. Um, however, in a practical sense, at least for me, it makes sense to do that. So we're going to do a little bit more um, loading here. So just go ahead and follow along and this will make sense in a little bit, I promise. Okay. By the way, it's really hard to type and talk and focus on what you're doing. So if I'm not the greatest typer or speaker, I apologize. Um, my number one goal for you is just that you learn to become better programmers. And maybe you pick up some even, you know, you could probably do things better than me. Oh, wonderful. Do it better than me. Um, you know that, like I said, programming is an art. Um, I'm just kind of, you know, it, it. There is a science to it, but everyone's going to kind of do it differently. So if if I do something that you don't like, um, you know, as long as you have a good reason for changing it, you know, then do it. I mean, but for the purpose of following along with this, just go ahead and follow along with me, even if you don't like it. Um, so I'm going to include. Uh, a functions.php file here and I'm going to include our config.php file um, so let me just double check and make sure I have this right so app lib helpers functions so let's go ahead and create that one real quick so app lib helpers and inside of here we need a new file called functions.php um, and then I'm going to also create while we're here an actual file called helpers.php. Okay, so essentially what I'm going to do here is just require once, and we're going to need to um, open up our PHP files here. I'm going to require once, and then we'll do root ds um, app. Live uh, helpers and then helpers.php. Okay. Um, so we're just going to basically keep a list of different helpers functions here, and this is going to be our list of static uh, files that we're going to load. And then we'll actually put some helper 
functions here later that we're going to need. So now that we, uh, let's go ahead and also create our config file so that that works. So that is going to be in config. Let's create a new file there. I'll just call that badboyconfig.php. So now we have our files that are being loaded. And then, um, so let's, before we jump into our config, let's just continue with our bootstrap.php file. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to auto load our classes. Okay. Oops. And um, PHP gives us a great way to do this. So just function and then underscore underscore two underscores auto load. Okay. And we, that's our function here. Um, and so what we're gonna what's gonna be passed in there is the class name. Okay. Um, that's going to be the only parameter that we need. And then what we're going to do is create some if else statements. All right. And these are going to be somewhat annoying, but we need to make sure that the files exist. If they exist, we're going to require them. Um, if they don't, then uh, we'll move on to the next if statement. So here we go. Um, if, okay. So if file exists, root.ds.core dot ds dot class name dot dot php. So basically when it loads in a class name, so for instance um, we'll have one called application dot PHP when it loads, loads it, it's going to look for uh, in the root folder, it's going to climb down to the core, and then it's going to look for uh, the class name.php. Uh, if that exists, I got a typo there. So class name.php. If that exists, then we're going to go ahead and require once. Require that bad boy. And I'm not going to type that out again. Let's just go ahead and copy that. There we go. Um, that's kind of how we're going to do it. And then, so we're going to look directly in the core for them. And then we also want to look a few other places. So else if, um, let's see. So let's just go ahead and grab all of this again, because no need to, to retype it. And this time, what we're going to do is look for dot core dot controllers. Oops, I'm sorry. We're not going to do core though. We're going to do app. So app. So if the class name.php exists in the controllers, then we'll load that. So as you can guess, we'll need to uh, require once that as well. And let's just grab all of that. So that'll grab, uh, they'll grab it if it's in the controllers. And then I'm actually just going to copy all of this. We're going to check uh, models. And if it's there, we're going to load that. And then uh, I think that'll do for now. Uh, I think we're just going to have inside of our app program controllers. So we'll have classes there of classes in our models, and we'll have our classes in our core directory. Um, so that will auto load those classes when we use them. Um, that will save a ton of time, so we won't have to, every time we add a new class, we won't have to add a require. It just uses this auto load function that PHP gave us. So thank you for PHP. Um, so the next thing that we need to do in our bootstrap file is we're actually going to um, route our URL. And so I'll route the request. So let's put a comment here. 
Okay, and that's uh, we haven't written this yet, but that's going to use a class that we're going to call uh, router. And we'll make a static function or a static method there called route, and that's going to accept one parameter called URL. Okay, so um, this right now will fail. Okay, router not found. So <clears throat> we have kind of made it all the way down to here, so it, it basically hasn't found that router anywhere. So let's go ahead and create that really quickly. Um, so inside of our core, we'll do a router.php, and it has to be uppercase. And then uh, here, what we're going to do is open our PHP tags. We're not going to close them. And then um, what we can do now is say class router.php. <laughs> nope, just class router. And then uh, go ahead and do this. And what we're going to do here, um, this is still going to give us a, a problem because um, it's going to say that it can't find the route, undefined method router. So it, it found our class through the autoloader. So the autoloader is working, but now I can't find this route method. So let's just go ahead and um, uh, let's just populate that now. So let's just do public static function route. It's going to accept the URL. And then let's um, just for now, let's var dump. URL and die. Okay. So now um, what's happening is that our request, our HT access file, is sending us to the index.php file no matter what we put here. Um, because we're not in a directory, uh, we are not in this any of the files that we said that we were we ignored the so HTA access file sends us to the index file. The index file goes ahead and starts up our session. Um, it defines some constants and then it requires our bootstrap file. Now, uh, we also set up our, um, we turned our URL, our request into an array. And then we required in our bootstrap file. Our bootstrap file goes ahead and requires in our config and our, um, fun our helper functions that we don't, we haven't used yet. Um, and then, it, which let's go ahead and create one of those in a minute. And then we set up this auto load class. So now we can use uh, our objects. We, we can use our classes and it will auto load those in as we need them. So we created the router and we created a method inside of that router called route and we passed it in a URL. Now that URL was actually uh, set up here in the index.php. We won't do that too often where um, the variables carry over, um, but we just did that here. And so now this uh, bootstrap file is actually complete. Uh, we, we're going to add a, a little bit more to this, like three lines of code later. But for the most part, the bootstrap file is complete. Let's go ahead and make sure our helper functions are working correctly. So inside our helpers.php, I am going to open up PHP tags here. Um, and what I want to do is create a function. And we're going to call this DND. that so it takes one parameter and what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to echo a pre-tag and then we'll go ahead and echo a closing pre-tag and in between those echoes I want to var dump data and then after this we're going to go ahead and die so this D and D function is called dump and die, and it just makes our data really easy to look at, and it kills the page. And we'll use this as we're debugging throughout. So I'll just go ahead and create this helper function now. And we can use it throughout our, throughout our application as we build it. So let's go ahead and go back to our router class. And so instead of doing this var dump and die here, let's try out our new uh, fu function that we made called D and D, and we'll pass it in URL, and that's it. So now refresh the page and now we have a nice a nicer marked up array because it's in our pre-tags and we can see our element zero is users register and this. so the way this is going to work out is this will be our controller 
this will be our method inside our controller, or it's going to be we're going to call those actions. Uh, but essentially, they're just methods. And then after that, we're going to have a uh, in our every element after that, an array will be parameters that are passed into our method. So I hope that's helpful, and let's see you in the next video.